Alright, gentlemen. Show me something. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ooh. Okay. That's two for you. Ooh, smart man. Picking up the range. Oh, if he had got that headshot. Oh. It would have been juicy. Alright. Alright, we got this guy now. The rules are quite simple. You get to four kills, you get a contract. You get a spot in Svenolf's army. All right, that's two for you already. Watch it. Nice. Turn around. Yes, sir. Yeah. That is what I've been looking for. Oh, and make it five. Yes. Finally. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Svenolf the Mountain. Today, Svenolf has been traveling around to all the arenas in his new kingdom of the Nords, looking for the biggest, the strongest, the best up-and-coming fighters to fill out his army. And that man, I don't know where he is. He's probably one of the uh, quote-unquote unconscious bodies laying on the, on the bottom of the arena floor right now. But he's getting a contract. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. These guys haven't, these bodies haven't moved in like a long time. I, uh... They said this was practice, but I saw a lot of javelins going through throats. <laughs> like that throwing axe right there. Anyways, what is the plan for today? So, I've been doing some work in between episodes. Been uh, grinding a lot. We've been getting uh, pretty much... Actually, let me show you. I have recruited every single Sturgeon... My god, I was in that arena for so long that it, it had to autosave. Seriously, I, w I waited like 15 minutes to get that clip. <laughs> Trying to find someone good enough to get five kills in a row. But I came in here, and every single Sturgeon village, they have no young men anymore. I took them all. I took all the young men, and uh, we're still looking for a few more, but we're up to 240 right now. And keep in mind, except for a few of the Druzinic champions and a couple other random units, pretty much all these guys are new. Um, we've been training everybody up. We got a ton of new Variag, Variag veterans, some new uh, tier 5 of the regular infantry, the heavy axemen, heavy spearmen. We're looking good. I still have a little more work to do, but as of right now, we're looking pretty good. Because today, we're starting a war with Batania, and this war, I'm telling you, is going to be brutal. But let me see, let me recruit that guy. What did, did I give him a name? Jimothy. His name was Jimothy. And he was... This guy. That was Jimothy right there. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Um, but I'll be honest. Trying to level up 200 plus troops while chasing down tiny armies of like 10 looters is awful. It takes so long. But then, just recently, we got a new quest. And it's these guys right here. I think it's part of the main storyline because our Zagos gave it to us. But apparently Istiana, who, you know, hater supreme... Uh, in order to try to take down our kingdom, she hired a bunch of sea raiders to attack our towns, I think, and turn the people against us? I don't know. Honestly, what she didn't realize is that she's been helping us because these groups of 40 sea raiders actually give a decent amount of XP. It's actually awesome what she did. <laughs> it was very necessary. Um, so yeah, we have basically just been, we just run in and I tell just the infantry to charge in and whoever survives, survives. All right, here we go. Show me what you got, boys. Get in there. Oh, whoops. I meant, I meant to tell him to charge. All right. Let me get a few kills here with the one-handed. Ooh, locks up. Nice. Get him out of here. Yeah, here we go. I've been doing a little bit of training while we're training up our troops. Because we are super close to some very, very nice upgrades. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice. I'll tell you what. The range on this... One-handed sword is actually pretty nice. It's a little slow. Oh, yes. Yes, we're up to 201 one-handed. Perfect. Nice. We just got the next perk. Beautiful. All right. Good. Work. Wow, man. Our banner guy was sprinting to stay ahead of everybody. Seriously, that thing's got to be heavy. Wait, hold up. Did you just see? This <laughs> This guy right here just did a... Oh, he did that celebration. They like flexing on him. Oh, that's awesome. All right, what do we get? 17 level ups. Nice. Okay. And only one loss. Beautiful. That's what we love to see. But yeah, I've been uh, doing a little bit of training with a one-handed sword. Hopefully by the end of this little training session, I can get it up to 225. Because the next two perks, including the one that we just got, are very, very good. Not just for ourselves, but also for our troops. 
There we go. Level everybody on up. That's a bunch of new Druzinix. Awesome. Love to see it. And then we get to drop off these to the boys. That's the other thing we're trying to level up right now is our stewardship. Uh, so we can finally be able to donate the weapons as well. That'll make a big difference, I think. But, alright, 2300 XP. And boom! Quest is done. Awesome. What is this? A conspiracy war party is is what? What the fuck was that? Is the quest not done? Due to your successful skirmishes against sea raiders, a conspiracy war party is now patrolling around Revel. A war party? Oh! Bro, this is an awesome quest line. This is so much free XP for us. Alright, let me see. One-handed. So here we go. This is the first perk that I really wanted. Yes, this one. Fleet of Foot. Increase your combat movement speed by 5%. That is no joke. And then infantry uh, in the formation you're leading also have their movement speed increased by 4%. That's pretty good compared to the other one, which is like your shields take less damage. Whatever. That one's, that one's pretty shitty. However, this one is what we're looking for. Actually, both of these are really good for the next tier at 225. This one increases the damage dealt by your infantry troops by 10%. All the troops... That we're leading just deal 10% more damage. That is a huge buff. Or they have plus 10 HP. And we get plus 5 HP. Which would put us at exactly 200 HP. That way we could say Svenoff literally is as sturdy as two men. Hmm. I don't know. We got a little while before we have to worry about that one though. And then the other thing obviously. Stewardship. We're actually getting super close. We only need to get to 125. And then we can discard weapons for XP. That will actually be huge. Okay, let me, um... Where's this, uh, conspiracy war party at? Interesting. Sturgeon's just declared war on the Qs. Oh, there it is. Hmm. 70, huh? Oh, and this isn't just Sea Raiders. Look, it's got a mix... It's got cavalry. Hold on, what is this? Noble horsemen, mounted fighters, knights? I've never seen these units before. Conspiracy units? Was this has this been in the game for a while? I swear I don't remember this uh, two years ago. Hmm. Um. Should I perhaps? Oh, we got a couple level ups here. Nice, nice. Good work. We'll recruit the champion. Thank you. Should I keep on using the? We'll keep on using the one-handed sword. I, I really want to get this up to two twenty-five. That's such a big bonus. All right, who are you? You best let us be. There's dozen, dozens more of us hiding here, just waiting for our signal. Uh, mate, do you do you see our numbers? Do, you you should have lied and said hundreds, man. <laughs> when you tell me that there's dozens of you, that honestly, at this point, that just makes me more excited. That's more XP for the troops. Oh man, they um, uh, that's actually a lot of horsemen. All right, boys, get in. Oh wait, wait, shit! I didn't mean everybody. No, 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 no. Get back, get back. Only the infantry charge. No, 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 no. Drusinix. I know, I love you guys. You're terrifying. Ooh, good kill there. Give me another one. Hold up, this sword is not half bad from horseback. The range on it is no joke. Alright, get in there, infantry. Oh, wow, okay, they're... <laughs> Their cavalry just got stomped. Alright, we got another, what, 50 infantry in ranged, I think? I right, pull up, boys. Actually, not. Just go ahead and charge in. Show me what you got. I don't want our archers stealing too many kills. Also, can I just say, these shoulder pads we got are looking crispy. The gold and silver just look so damn good. Alright, come on. Oh, wait. These guys actually have some... They have capes! I don't know any bad fighters that have capes. Actually, this could be like, uh... What was it? Incredibles? No capes! No capes! Good, good shots, good shots. Chase him down. Come on, we gotta be getting a good amount of one-handed from this. Nice! Yes! Yes! Good dodge! Good dodge! Oh my god, Svenoff is styling on these fools right now. Getting all kinds of one-handed XP. Good stuff. Here we go. Yeah, he's got that. Look how much faster he is now with that perk. Holy shit! Like before? Just because of how much armor, how heavy our armor is, Svenoff was, like, only slightly faster than most normal troops. Now, he's got... He's got a pretty decent advantage on him. Alright, that was pretty good. 39 level ups. How many did we get? 
We got 11 extra one-handed. Beautiful. We only need like one or two more battles like that and we'll be good to go. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really look at the other perks after this next one. I don't know. The one at 250 might be decent. I actually have no idea. All right. What do we got here? Uh, do we want to take these guys prisoner? Just because I don't know if we're ever going to see them again. Conspiracy units. I wonder, can we recruit them? What? It won't let me take them. Eh? Oh. Apparently not. Apparently they thought of that. They don't want you to be able to use them, huh? Are they not actually part of a troop tree? Oh, no. They don't even level up into each other. That's weird. Alright, whatever. Uh, ooh, a bunch of Fions got level ups there. Beautiful. And a ton of Variags. Oh my god, that's almost all of our Variags just leveled up into veterans. Beautiful. There we go. Now let's go. One, two, three. One, two. Nice. Nice. Oh, so good. So good. Let me see what we got here. Ooh, a legionary cape. It looks crispy. It's not better than what we currently have, though. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. All right, we will take all these. We will... Right? Yeah, take all those. Leave this. I don't think this is... I don't think any of these are an upgrade for anybody. So we'll leave them. And... Ooh, war mount. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We will take the war mounts. Beautiful. No herd penalty, right? Nah, no herd penalty. Cool. Beautiful. All right, are we done? Hey, completed. Beautiful. Good work. I don't think we got anything for that, but I'm guessing there would have been a pretty nasty penalty uh, otherwise. Um, yeah, let me just double check this real quick. What is the 250 perk? Um, so we're not going to be using one-handed weapons, so that doesn't matter that much. Reduces recruitment cro cost of infantry by 20%. That's trash. Increase your party limit by 15. Oh, that's not too shabby. And we still have 10 times learning rate. We'll, we'll probably be able to get up there. And this one we don't care about. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. This goal is to just get up to 250 on uh, the next couple episodes, maybe. All right, not bad. So yeah, give me a sec. I'm going to keep on recruiting, training up the boys a little bit. Oh, here's another juicy party. And then before too long here, we'll be declaring war. Oh, it looks like Liza's already getting a head start. She's uh, sieging Dunglanis for us. No, we're, de we're declaring war on Batania. And the reason this is going to be so nasty, so bloody, is everything is so condensed and close to each other. Like, it's not like Vlandia, where there were two different fronts of the war that are like almost a continent apart. Everyone is going to be right next to each other. It's just going to be dogfight after dogfight. And for that reason, I think it might be in our best interest to actually finish off Batania entirely in this war. It's going to be tough. But at this point, we're already, we're already on the border of the Western Empire. So it's not like taking all this is going to expose us to any new kingdoms. And I just don't want to have to worry about Batania coming at us and trying to backstab us in the future when we're in other wars. So, yeah. This might take a couple episodes, but I think it's going to be worth it. Okay, here we are. So, we're doing a little bit of scouting out, seeing what the different garrisons are looking like. Uh, Flintolg... And Aster Castle have some pretty small garrisons. Dunglanis here, on the other hand, yeah, almost 800. Now, admittedly, they do have a lord in there, but even without the lord, that's still a, like pretty much a 700-man garrison. Um, I think this is going to be our first target for the war. It's going to be tough, though, and that's why I want to take it out when, well, we're still at full strength. Um, we did finally get up to 125 steward, so we'll go ahead and pick this up. Beautiful. And then my plan for right now, so we're up to 300 infantry, which is not bad at all. It's not going to be the loadout we actually use. We'll probably throw about 50 of these back in Karabanseth and then take as many Batanian Fions as we can carry. Just because, I mean, Dunklanis is tough enough as it is. I mean, yeah, shoot, 800 defenders is a, is a lot. And then when you consider that half of them are going to be like machine gun bowmen, the Batanian Fions. Um, we need a little bit of ranged firepower of our own to go against this. So, here's my plan. As you can see, the food stocks right there are at max. They seem like they're doing pretty well. Here's my plan. If we buy out all of their food... Oh my god, 700 grain, holy shit. If we buy out all of their food and then start the siege shortly after, they should, knock on wood, they should run out of food way quicker. I would think, right? Doesn't that make sense? 
I don't know. This is a tactic I used to use. I don't know if it's been patched, if it still works or not. Um, but we are going to try it out. So we're going to do that, and we're just going to leave them for a sec, see how they're doing. And actually, maybe it would be smartest to just call the army together right now. I'll tell you what. Let me figure out what uh, what final loadout we're actually going to use here. Because we do, I did just pick up a lot of new infantry. Um, some fresh recruits that, uh, yeah, realistically, we're not going to be bringing them into battle. Probably not the tier 2 guys either, I would assume. So that gives us room for 60 more. Right, l l let me play around with this for a little bit. Okay, here we go. I think this will work. We've got 75 Batanian Fion champions. That's a good amount. That's a pretty good amount. Um, yeah, it's about a quarter of our of our total force. And we've, we've got other archers in here. We've got heroes. We've got some, uh, some random assorted sharpshooters. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. All right, good. And we don't have any of the really shitty infantry with us. I think everyone's either tier 3 or above. This should be a pretty good force on paper here. So, let's go ahead and call the army together right now, just to get them starting to come our way. We're not bringing a Fainus with us, because he is dishonorable as shit, and uh, <laughs> essentially wants us to kill and destroy everyone whenever we take over a town, which we're not going to do. Um... Tell give me by distance. Get Roland, Samar, Radagost. How big is this army? This looks, looks this looks pretty sizable. Yeah, this is a good amount. And that'll leave a decent amount of troops. So if they want to start their own army, like maybe a Fainus does, that'll work out just fine, I think. Yeah, alright, let's call this together. We will come on over here. Yep, everyone's meeting up. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, sweet, the one guy left. All right, so now, they're only down to 700. What, it was this guy, right? Yeah, Durngal. Um, Beautiful. Come on over here. How's the food stocks looking? Yes, negative 67. Look at that. Holy shit. That is no joke. All right, we're still waiting for more people to show up. Got a few more coming. Got four more coming. Three more now. We're already at 900. Holy shit. This is going to be the biggest army we've led so far. This is going to be a big fucking army. I love it. Okay, who leveled up? Bunch of people leveled up. Who leveled up? Isabella of the Exile? Oh, okay. Is she with us? I don't even remember. No, she's leading her own... Didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gave her her own party. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Do do whatever, girl. <laughs> I don't care that much. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, their food stocks are plummeting so fast. We could try to starve them out. It is the middle of winter. It would just weaken them up a little bit, I think, right? Isn't that worth it? One more day. Give them... Oh no, the food stocks are down to zero now? Hold up. Oh, and I see this guy coming in. No, 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 that won't do. That won't do. See what they got here. We might have to buy them out one more time. Yeah, all right. Give me all the grain, beer, and date fruit you got. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is actually effective or not, if this is what we should be doing, but... Ah, so be it. All right, diplomacy. Uh, we are already paying Batania a decent amount. We are going to get that back. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. We've paid them a quarter million over there. I don't even know how long we've been at peace. And if you look at the clans, we're almost as large as them. And then clearly in territory, way larger. They have four towns? I didn't even think they had that many. Okay, the, uh, <laughs> completely wiping them out this war might be a little bigger challenge than I thought. But so be it. Yes, time to declare war. Beautiful. Let's do this thing. Are we still inside their town? Could we have, like, you know, fucking Trojan horse them? As you move through the streets, you hear whispers of an upcoming war between your faction and Batanians. You slink away without attracting any suspicion. No, we were in the town with a thousand troops! <laughs> we could have just destroyed them. Alright, Besiege. Beautiful. Alright, let me go ahead, switch it over to... Engineer. There you go, Alishka. And shoot, with an army this big, we actually make the siege camp so fast. Um, let's go with our normal battering ram and a siege tower. I think that'll be good. Oh, I need to remember. I'm still using this. No, no, no. Skyfall and... Where's Avalanche? 
God damn it, we have too many, too many of these swords. <laughs> oh, there we go. Avalanche. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, all right, here we go. And that's our last guy joining us. We're at 1,200. This is the largest army we've ever led, and it's not even that close. Holy shit. All right, Alicia's gaining some more engineering. She's actually pretty close to getting another perk. We'd love to see that. They've only got one day's worth of food. Oh, look at this. I kind of want to see what happens if they get, if they get, uh, if they start starving. All right, so they're at 684 right now. Tell you what, I mean, we got, we have, we have all their food. So we can, we can chill here for a bit. I'm, I'm fine. We'll go for two siege towers, siege ram. I want to see what happens when this starts. Oh, yes. Days until food runs out. One, the garrison is currently starving. Look at this. Negative 150 a day, and they've only got 16. Oh, they're so fucked. Oh my god, wait, they already lost like 30 troops from starvation. <laughs> oh, this is sick. What a good tactic. Make it 60? Make it 80 troops they've they've lost already? Oh my god, they're they're starving out so fast. They're down to 600? Wait, one of them came back? How'd they do that? Oh, it's because a bunch of them are wounded. That's right. It doesn't actually kill them. It just wounds them. Interesting. All right. I want to see. Give me one more tick. One more tick of this. Get them down to like 500. Ooh, okay. They got a little army here, but it ain't shit. We'll take care of you guys as soon as we're done taking care of Dunglanis. I just want to watch him, uh, watch him starve a little bit. Hold up, hold up. Make sure we're okay. Yeah, we've got 1,200. They don't... They would need another giant army to come in. Hmm... Come on, give me one more tick. One more tick here, and then I can attack these guys. Oh, they're coming in to fight right now? Oh, I guess the garrison would help them out, huh? Alright, we'll go ahead and do the fight now. So with how bloody this war is going to be... See how quick they were able to bring armies over? It is... It, whatever you have is going to be on the front line immediately in this war. For both of us. For, for both us and Batania. It's a good and a bad problem to have. Uh... Beautiful. Good work. Alishka's gonna get so much XP in this war. Holy shit. Alright, gentlemen. Good luck. What the fuck is this? Um. <laughs> that's not good. Is that, does that say error on it? Uh. Alright, this is mildly concerning. The enemy appears to have witches that are casting some... Uh, poisonous terrain. I don't know what that is. That is uh, a <laughs> mildly concerning to say the least. All right, it is what it is. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think we're I think we're good to go. We'll auto deploy everybody, and just uh, hopefully ignore that once we get into the town. I I have not seen that before. I don't know what this is. It, should I be worried about riding on it? That is new. Have we not? I don't think we've sieged Dunglanis yet. Um, maybe that's just how it looks? I, <laughs> I'm not too sure. Alright, let's see if we can take out this ballista. That looks like, is that a lord? He's got good armor, whoever it is. Nice, okay. Four times, come on. There we go. Oh, it's a gulam. Interesting, alright. Yep, as we expected, they have absolutely archers for days. Ooh, nice shot over there. Okay, and again, they have multiple rows of walls, so they can just have all the archers in the world. Luckily, not too many of them are Fions, from the looks of it. They're kind of militia archers, yeah. So our Fions are better than theirs. I'm going to take out this person over here. Oh, no, I whiffed. That's one. Come on, give me another one. Ow. Keeps on moving around, you bastard. There we go, he's down. Good work, good work. Uh, where are the these things even going? Okay, two of them are going to the right, and then the siege ram is over here. That's interesting. Okay, good shot. Whoever took that man out. Damn, I haven't used the bow in a hot minute. Yeah, sorry. By the way, sorry for how long this episode took to come out. Um, as you guys know, at the end of last episode, I was still kind of recovering from uh, the cold I had, and so that seems to be pretty much all the way gone now, at least. Uh, but then, I had my big final exam for cardio, which is a 10-credit course. So, I had a final exam in a 10-credit course. 
And, uh, it went really well. I actually killed it. So I'm really happy about that. But, um, you just kind of kind of got busy doing that. But the good news is, that was my last class for the semester. So I am off for all of winter break. You guys have me for the next month. And I plan on just absolutely pumping out the content if I can. Um, I also noticed, I think it's this Tuesday. So when this episode comes out, probably like tomorrow. <laughs> I think this is coming out on Monday. Um, the Witcher 3 is getting a graphics overhaul. Ooh, Alishka just leveled up. Good stuff, girl. And uh, I have never actually played The Witcher 3, and I've wanted to for the longest time. I played Witcher 1 and Witcher 2, so I think now would be the perfect time for me to try to play that. So I think I might try streaming that game. Um, just because it's such a long game, I think trying to upload episodes would just take too long. Oh, this is a weird siege tower. Is it because the walls are so short we can just, like, walk up? It's kind of hype. All right, here we go, boys. Good luck, good luck. Coming in to meet me? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I've been recruiting the best infantry in all of Sturgia. Our boys can fucking handle you little hillbillies. Yes, sir. Come on. Here we go, Svenol. Yes, sir. Let's open it up here. All right, a little, little bit of frame rate there. Hopefully it wasn't too bad on the recording. Nice. Nice. Yes. Good fucking work. All right, we just immediately got through the walls. And our boys are doing good over there as well. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. Oh, they're oh, they're trying to run. <laughs> oh, these poor starving hillbillies. They didn't stand a chance. Yep. Join me, lads. Join me, lads. Woo! Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, it always kind of feels bad taking on the Batanians. Like, these are just some poor peasants. Like, even their elite warriors still kind of look like poor peasants. Basically, anyone who isn't a, a Fion champion looks broke, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like those guys. The Fions look decent. The rest of them, man, this kind of feels like bullying. All right, let me see if we can do a little Assassin's Creed. Oh, I whiffed. Okay. All right, well, you know. Hello. No escape. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Oh, no, there's so many of them. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Spenoff is eating right now. Yes, sir. Bro, these guys do, like, no fucking damage either. Luckily, I don't think there's any Falksmen running around. Those guys could actually hurt us. But these militia just, they don't do anything. Oh, hello. That guy looked decent, whoever that was. How many kills is this? My god, Svenolf. When is enough enough? Oh, hold up. Alright, hold up, hold up. There's some two-handed axes kind of going wild over there. That might actually hurt a little bit. Oh, they are all volunteers. That's what it is. Oh, no. Oh, Svenolf. The kill feed is just all you. <laughs> Oh, it's so unfair. Come on, get in there. Isn't it fun, line breaker? Just absolutely crushing them. Oh, they're about to escape. Oh, I'm, out of, I'm out of arrows anyways. GG. Who's left? There's only seven of them. How many did we kill? We killed 500 that fast. Spin off. <laughs> 130. Yeah. Eight kills! Oh, that's so good. Wait, don't tell me that there's some stuck somewhere. No, not again. I can't do this again. Okay, thank God, they found him. He was... I, I think he managed to get himself trapped in between the two gates. I think that might have been what just happened. But great work. We only lost 26! 26! That's how elite our army was compared... I mean, honestly, these guys were just scrubs. They had... What was that? They had seven Fions? Yeah, that's that's not going to do it against us. Maybe I really overestimated how, how strong the Batanians were going to be. Maybe it's not going to be that hard to just sweep through them and wipe them out in one blow. Alright, here we go. Storming the keep now. I just realized with that many two-handed kills, because those were pretty much all with Avalanche. There were, there were a couple that were with the bow earlier on. 
But pretty much everything with Avalanche, dude, we probably just generated so much XP for our troops. Dude, look, and look how fast Fenoff is. That perk that we got at the beginning of the episode is actually insane. Come on. Here you go. Good work. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, ow. Actually making fools out of these guys. It'll be interesting when we face against their actual army here after this. Because they won't be just a bunch of volunteers in their tier 1, tier, tro tier 2 troops. They'll actually have a bunch of Fions and probably, uh... What do they have? Vold? No, they don't have Volge. They have, uh... What are they called? Falksmen. That's what they're called. Good work. This is a cool little castle. I mean, I wouldn't want to live here. It kind of looks like you're living underground even though you're above ground. Like, did these guys not figure out stairs when they were cutting out the stone? Is that it? Hey, good work. Another 25 kills for us. Seriously, that's this must be so much XP for all of our troops, right? We're going to have so many level ups. Oh, holy shit. 66 level ups. That is insane. Uh, we'll take those guys. Uh, I guess we might as well take the prisoners just to sell them all off, right? Right? <laughs> 13 new Variag veterans. Oh, that's beautiful. All the Sturgeon Spearmen leveled up a ton. Yes. Alright, give me five, five. There we go. All of our Otrox leveled up. 13 more Variag veterans. Holy shit. Or no, 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 those were guys, oh, that's, those were Drusenics that we just got. Yes, sir. Oh, that is so sick. <laughs> we just got so much stronger after that battle. Uh, all right, we will take, do we even want all that? Yeah, fuck it, we'll take all of them. We'll sell them off since we're in town. War Camel? That counts as a war mount? <laughs> oh, that's sick. Uh, we'll leave all this because look at this 23,000 experience for our troops. Holy. This all gives XP now. Oh my god, that is so sick. Uh, do we even want the horse? I guess we'll take the horse. We'll leave the rest for our troops. How much does 22,000 give us? Uh, what? We just took a bunch of people captive? We did? Alright, show mercy. Uh, oh, Isabella doesn't like that. Bro, Isabella, you need to fucking relax. Alright? Fucking relax. Alright. Um. Good stuff. Alright, hold on. Let me go back here. That's another 16 level ups. Oh my god, and it's all of our elite units. Yes. Fuck, yes. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so fucking good, man. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, let's go to the tavern. Let's sell off. I don't want to sell off these guys. We'll keep the Fion champions. Yeah, let's just do the rest. We'll just do the rest. That'll get us down a lot. Okay, beautiful. Only 3k for all that? I don't know why I bother doing this. <laughs> why do I... I, I guess we get a little bit of Rogri XP. We'll take that. Beautiful. Okay. So here's the real question. Our guys are still chilling. In terms of, like, we barely lost anyone. We can just run out and fight these guys right now, I think. In fact, I think that's the smarter move to try to catch them right now before this army of 350 catches up with them. By the way, how much XP did Alishka get there? Yes! Oh, 150 Medic. And she leveled up, that's right. Uh, what do we have here? What are the options? Okay, we don't care about Governor. 20% uh, healing bonus in villages. 20% healing bonus in towns. Yeah, definitely prefer that. And she has one more... Tell you what, she's been doing pretty good with the throwing. Let's give her that. Good work, girl. Bro, she's a beast, man. Honestly, she is. Uh, tell you what, we can go ahead and sell some of the uh, grain back to them because we have way too much. And just so the town doesn't starve again immediately. Beautiful. There you go. And we just... Svenolf just got 11 points in trade. Huh? Huh? Did we sell for a profit? Because we, we bought him out and then we sold it back? That's funny. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Alright. Yeah, I think we just go straight in for the kill here. Right? I think that's the move. Can we catch this guy? 
We're disorganized right now, but as soon as we're not disorganized, I think we hawk him down. Oh, he's still going in. They think they can win. It's been a while. All right, Moon, sir. Interesting. I guess they do have a decent amount of troops, but no, we, we still way outnumber them, right? We'll fight to our last drop of blood. Oh, it's pretty close. Okay. 1,000 on 1,000? Let's fucking do this thing. I'm hype. Oh, this will be good. All right, I'm liking the look of this battlefield. I think we have the a little bit of uphill here, a slight uphill. They're coming towards us. We've got these kind of two hills that are going to funnel them here. We've got our infantry. Tell what, we can just go ahead and put them in shield wall right now. Extend them out a little bit. And then our archers are just going to have their way. I mean, they're attacking us. They're going to they're gonna come this way. Yeah, let's do this thing. All right. We'll go back to Svenolf kind of leading the cavalry for right now. Um, just because I don't know if anyone else is really good with uh, with cavalry. But yeah, we'll wait for them to come here. Don't raise your sails! Cavalry, just go ahead and shield up. I don't know how good their archers are going to be. All right, yeah, it's going to take them a while to get here. Oh, boy, here they come in absolute troves. Holy. Actually, we should probably be shooting at them a little bit, right, huh? Okay, some of them have shields. Yeah, all right, this is going to be... Oh, look at that. They've got a battalion of their Fion champions over there. Oh, they're looking pretty nice, too. All right, hold up. Yeah, this is not going to be a walk in the park like the Siege of Dunglanis was. These guys came to play. All right, Calvary, I'm going to go ahead and give you captain control right now. Oh, my God, they have so many archers. Holy fucking Fion champions. Is this why they were so confident they could beat us? I only dealt 15 damage? Holy shit. Yeah, I need to get off this horse, actually. This is... I'm a big target. Alright, we need to advance. Come on, boys. We can't just sit here and take it. Oh my god, these Fions are no joke. Holy shit. Get in there. Get in there, guys. We need this. Is there enemies here? I'm staying in the shield wall. Alright. Alright, alright. Our cavalry seem to have broken that up a little bit, which is good. Tell you what, guys. Just charge in. This is taking too long. Good luck. I hope for the best. This is what I meant. Batania is going to be no fucking joke. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that was two lords. That was Ergion and Durngil. Back to back. Get them out of here. All right, we need to watch out. There are some... Oh, oh man. There's some heavy hitters here. Watch out. Good. Okay, good work, good work. Ooh, like that. The Falksmen. Um, the Falksmen scare me. Nope. Get him. Get out of here. Fion champion my ass. Ooh, what? What, what happened to all my troops? Did we die? Ah! No! Oh my god, I lost... We have, like, no one left? Holy shit. Alright, back it up, back it up. Everyone regroup. We should be getting reinforcements soon, I would hope. My god. Ow! 39 damage to the neck. Fuck me. Oh. Didn't even see the enemy until I was too late. Alright, come on. Hold strong, hold firm here, boys. There you go, 92. Finish him off, good shot. Another one, down. Seriously, where are my reinforcements? Oh, there they are. What the fuck, they spawned in there? Boys, turn around, let's go, let's fight. What is... I have a bunch of archers that just... Wait, what? No, they put our infantry inside the archer group. What are you guys doing? No! They're, oh no, this battle is so scuffed now. I'm gonna have to like charge my archers in. 
Look at that. They put all of my infantry into the archer group. Why Why would that be a thing? Who Who did that? All right, give me a horse. Give me on a horse. Give me avalanche. Let me just start hacking. Nope. All right, bro. The Falksmen are scary as shit. Nice. All right, you know what? It is what it is. This is just going to be a bloody battle. Uh, I'm not going to try to save this. We're just going to go in. We're going to fight until we go down, and it is what it is. Look at the bodies just all over the place. My God. We'll try to stick with our troops for the most part. And we're just hoping for the best. Nice. Good kills. Good kills. Can't even tell who's an ally or who's a foe. Man, I got a, a false sense of confidence after we just steamrolled ooh, Dunglanis like that. This is actually going to be such a tough war. <laughs> but I appreciate that. This is going to be fun. Get him out of here. Ouch, 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 ouch. ouch. Alright, back up, back up, back up with our troops. Okay, they're starting to mount up in decent numbers here. Come on. Come on. Play him at him. Oh, we're definitely going to die here soon. Oh, there's so many Falcon running around. Good. Good work. Keep it going. Nice. Still alive. Still alive. Still going. Oh, crushed him out of that saddle. Good work. All right, have they fixed our... They haven't fixed our lineup yet, man. Fuck you. Get off your horse. This is such a chaotic mess of a battle, man. <laughs> I mean, what else am I supposed to do? They put my infantry in the same group as my archers. I, like, I don't know what they expect me to do at this point. Alicia's going to be, like, level 300 medic after this battle, man. The casualties on both sides combined. Oh, Falksman. Good. Good work. Ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Stay alive, stay alive. Oh, the fuck? I'm going to die from horse charge damage at this point. All right, let's back it up. Ow, ow. Who did I just... I felt like I just got shot from someone on my side. Boys, friendly fire much. I'm out of here. All right, let's try to remount everybody. Everybody, get back together. Let's figure this out. Let's form a wall. Uh, yeah, just form a line. Get together, and we'll, we'll figure this out. This is, I mean, this is just so chaotic. We're stooping down to the Batanians' level of tactics, which is just everyone charge in in a, in a cluster. Ah, down, down we go. I mean, we've got a good amount of kills there. 41 is not bad. I, I hope we can win. This is, this is going to be close, man. Holy shit. Oh, no, that's looking awful on the kill feed. What the fuck? We're getting stomped. No way. No fucking way. Come on. Okay, it's starting to get better, maybe? This is razor close. Holy shit, what a battle. Alishka's up to 163 medic. Okay, now the boys are coming in. Now it's looking good. Holy... I mean, I said it was going to be bloody. I didn't expect this. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, GG, I guess. We lost 540. My god. 
I lost, we lost 52 alone just from Svenoff's army. Holy shit. That is no joke. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a battle. I mean, it was annoying that they, that they fucked with our troop formation, so I couldn't even, I couldn't even try to use tactics after that. Um, cause they, how are you going to combine our infantry and archers? That's such bullshit that that happened, but whatever. All right. Uh, my man, I think we need to capture just about everybody. No, let me think. Now nah, we're going to capture everybody for the moment. Just because at this point we just lost a shit ton of troops. And we need every advantage we can get in this war. Alright, 33 uh, recruits, though. That's not bad at all. 76 level ups. Yeah, honestly, deserved. <laughs> 33 Drusenics just leveled up into Drusenic champions. Holy shit. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Nice. Yeah, brilliant work. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we will recruit all of you guys. Welcome aboard. Whoops, hold up. Recruit all. There we go. Fuck the prisoners. My god. Oh, we're actually capped out on how much experience we're giving them. Okay, so that means we get to actually look at this. Anything good? Oh! Um, I think these might be the best boots in the game. Look at this. 34 leg armor? That is so much better than what we're currently using, which was already a big upgrade. Holy shit. Damn, the difference between lordly and and just normal is eight? I didn't I didn't realize it was that much. My god. Alright, here you go, Udris. Take a little upgrade for you there, champ. What about the rest of these? Eh, nothing too crazy, really, that I'm seeing. About anything here. What the fuck? Large bag of stacked bodkin arrows. 37 in a quiver? Am I seeing that right? Holy shit, that's a, that's a really nice upgrade. That's five extra arrows for us. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. And then we'll give the other one to... Uh, wow, they sell, it sells for 12k a pop. We'll give the other one to Apollonia. Oh my god, she's been using scrub arrows this whole time. There you go. Hey, not bad. Okay, what about over here? Anything... Navleon. Interesting. I don't think there's anything too crazy here. How much of this can we take before it starts impacting the XP? Apparently quite a bit. My god. Um, about over here. There we go. Okay. Give him some of that back. Nice. Holy shit. What a battle. What a battle. That was actually so fun. Um, we have some horses here. Do we just take them all? Fuck it, we'll take them all. Beautiful work indeed. And so, we're still gonna have 650 troops left after this, but my god was that bloody. Um, Alishka went from, yeah, 150 to 165 medic in one battle. And she's gonna get a ton of more XP just from, uh, we have like 400 wounded troops right now. Alright, who leveled up? Nozon, you got a little bit there? Okay. Um, do this one, I guess. And then... Thunder! Hey, there you go, champ! Um, yeah, I'll give you this one, since you, you do normally use a shield, so that other one wouldn't be uh, all that helpful for you. Alright, go back in here! We need to fucking heal up, my god. Alright, yep, she's on Surgeon. Huh. All right. So the battle. This uh, you know, it's a, it was pretty decent. Pretty decent war so far. All right. Maybe they got they got more than we gave them credit for. Perhaps. Um. All right. Do we need to sell back more of the grain at this point? Yeah. They're starving. They'll take all the grain they can get. Beautiful. Um. We should probably try to see what else we can sell. There's a decent amount of money here. Yeah. Sell off all of this. Uh. We'll sell off these. And then. Let me start selling off some of this crap. 
Yeah, because this has just been sitting at the bottom of our pile. Okay, so we'll heal up for right now. I mean, the other army only has 300, so we're actually not that scared of them, to be honest. Oops, oops that was too much. Ah, keep the change. That's fine. We're actually not too scared of them. Let's see how fast we heal up. Oh my god, we're actually already healing so fast. Owner of Dunglanis. Alright, who wants it? Um, do we want it? Ah, nah, we're alright. We don't need this. Let's, um... Vishorki already has a bunch, but he did spend a bunch on this. You know what, fuck it. We'll give it to Vishorki. I don't mind giving him that. This is, I mean, roughly in the area of his uh, other castles. Not really. He's spread out all over the map. That poor guy. He's got one and like the tip of Landia. He's got this one now, and then he's got like Mazadan Castle over here. All right, that's good work. All right, let's see. How fast are we healing up here? Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So yeah, we'll wait a little bit, and then I think we pop over, we take Aster Castle, and then we can come back and attack Flintolg. I think that's the move. Just give me a little bit of time here. Ooh. Did we get some more level ups? Oh, that's right, we got 41 level ups because we donated all the gear. <laughs> oh, it's so broken. Oh, it's so fucking broken. I love it. I love it. We are officially out of war horses, though. I kind of figured that was going to happen. But that's fine, because that just means we're going to have more, um... More, uh, Variac veterans staying as infantry rather than, uh... As elite cavalry. I, I think I'm okay with that. Alright, Alishka still gaining medicine. Perfect. And Svenolf just leveled up. Yeah, damn right. After all the kills we got on that siege, surprise didn't happen sooner. Okay. What are we going to put this point into? I am actually not too sure. Is there anything good down the, uh... <laughs> That's right. There's this perk where we just don't pay our wounded troops. All right. Interesting. Um... Morale bonus. Eh, none of this is, is really all that great, to be honest. What about leadership? Anything good here? Hmm, that would allow us to convert bandits into regular troops, but when the fuck do we ever do that? Okay, I think we're actually going to put it in riding, because I'm looking at this perk here. Um, I think this one, right? Mounted troops in your formation gain plus five armor. That's actually pretty, pretty decent. And since we normally have him uh, heading the cavalry, I think that's worth it. Versus plus 10 mount armor, that's not really all that important, I don't think. Yeah, and then, uh, honestly, this perk wouldn't be the worst. Increase your charge damage and maneuver by 1 for each 10 riding skill above 200. And we could theoretically get this up to 330. So that'd be, what, plus 13 charge and maneuver? I think that's pretty good. And it's just not a whole lot else. I mean, at some point, I wouldn't mind us getting pole arm up and training this because there are actually some good perks here. Uh, like infantry in your formation get plus 2% speed, plus 2% swing speed. I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff here that at some point we need to go down these lines. But for right now, I think we just stick it here. I mean, is there anything good with charm left? Nah. Not really that I'm seeing. Yeah, all right. We're just going to go with riding. Beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. And move on to the next one. How many are you? We have 128 defenders here. That's beautiful. Over to Aster Castle. Okay. So they got a bunch of little lords running around right now. But we stopped their big army. I think that was pretty big for us. I think that was a, a good first engagement. Even though we did lose a lot. We, we expected that to happen. These guys are no joke. Oh, they're taking Varen Castle from us. Ah, we probably should have expected that, to be honest. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that checks out. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and put Alishka back onto Engineer. Let's keep the siege going. Okay. This is such a small castle now that I'm looking at it. I feel like we could probably just even get away with one ram. How high are the walls? Actually, does it say? Uh, wall level three. All right, those are some pretty tall walls. That might not be the best idea. Uh, mm, we can just we can get one siege tower. I think we should probably play it reasonably safe from from henceforth because we did lose so many troops <laughs> in the first battle. Have they taken Baron yet? 
Not yet, not yet, not yet. All right. We're looking good. Ah, uh, come on. Before nighttime. Ah. All right, we'll wait for the morning. So it isn't an ugly looking siege. Beautiful. Ooh, well, hold up. Wait, hold up. With a peace offer. Okay. Uh, what are the Batanians offering for peace? They offer you peace if you agree to pay it. Oh my. All right, nope. They're done. They're, they're done. We're killing all of them. There will be no Batanians left at the end of that. That is such an insult. We come in, we take your biggest town, and we kill your biggest army. And you and you say that we need to pay you money? The fuck? Alright. I think we're... Yeah, we're good to go. And this should not be a difficult siege. Okay, this is taking way too long. The fucking siege towers spawned back in, like, Narnia. Like, that thing was so far away. These guys are scrubs. We're just gonna go ahead and raise these on up so the infantry come on in. And we should be able to stomp them out real quick. Yeah, not bad. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, hello. Okay. That's a lot of, uh... Decent-looking infantry right there. They're a little scary. Don't pay attention to me. Don't pay attention to me. Good, good. Ooh. What's up? How we doing, huh? Get off, get off of me. Here we go. Okay, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Nice. Woo. Okay, we need Skyfall here. For a little close-range action. Beautiful. And clear out the top here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more of this Mangonel shit on my boys. Don't think so. What the fuck? No, no. None of you guys are getting... What? Where are these dudes coming from? Are they inside the walls? Where? Like... <laughs> Maybe they're over there. I don't know how they got through. You get spent off into some open space here. It's hard to get kills right now. Good. Oh, hello. Okay, hold on, hold on. I see an opportunity here. Avalanche. Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful. This is what I wanted. Woo! Bro, did I just... It, it sounded like the audio dropped out when Sven off hit. Like, he hit so hard. Like, he burst everybody's eardrums. Work. Ooh, I saw that Falksman coming. Hey, watch out for those guys. Taking max damage, even with as much armor as we have, that is gonna hurt quite a bit. Good. Doing laps around him. Dude, the extra. Oh, shit. The extra movement speed feels really nice. Like, we're actually doing circles around guys now, in full armor. Alright, come on, let's get back up here. Dude, I was gonna say, how did our boys get kicked off the walls like that? It's a little embarrassing. Don't you think? Good work. Alright, we got a lot of guys coming over here. I just realized, this war, we're doing this in the heart of winter, too. This is, like, brutal conditions for sieging. But hey, maybe that's to our advantage. Like, I, I'm sure the Bat the Batanians are pretty tough. They're hardy guys, but they're not built for the cold like the Nords are. This is... We we're we we're bred in this, especially Svenal. Man lived in an iceberg for, like, a couple millennia. I mean... <laughs> Ooh, come on, don't let him go. <sighs> you thought... That man definitely thought he was away, home free. Alright, let's see if we can finish off the rest of these guys. And there we go. Beautiful. Nice little dub. Alright, we lost 41. That's not Honestly, isn't that more than we lost sieging Dunglandis? Right, why did Dunglandis go so well? I think it's because the walls were short. And we were just able to get in so many infantry in one time. With the, uh, the ramp siege tower. I don't know, that'd be my guess. Another 74 kills for Svanoff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. Uh, I don't know if we'll have to, uh, finish them off inside the walls or if we got everybody. But that was pretty good. Let's see if we can't take a few more castles before the end of the episode. Uh, Beothag. 
Who's actually the, the head household of Batania? Caladog. It's Fen Grufendok. Alright. Um, I'll tell you what, you're free to go. Get out of here. Because now that I'm thinking, if we're going to finish off Batania entirely in this war, probably makes sense for us to try to uh, get on the good side of some of their vassals so we can recruit them as they start running out of fiefs. Right? Doesn't that make sense? I think that makes sense. I gotta level up all these guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Get a couple of recruits. Nice. Uh, ooh, yeah, we'll take that. Lordly Highland Scale. Ah, uh, why can't it ever be Lordly one of the, like, good sets of armor, man? Come on. Uh, alright, we'll leave all that, leave all that. I guess we'll take that. We'll take that. Beautiful 16k experience for the troops. We will go ahead and show mercy. Isabella continues to be angry. I might, can we just tell her to go? We should just tell Isabella to go. She's kind of pissing me off recently. Um, where do I do that? Over here. Where the fuck is it, Isabella? Eh? Where the fuck is... One of your parties has lost its leader. It will disband after a day has passed? What the fuck? Did Isabella die? <laughs> Wait. What the fuck? Uh Huh? Alright, Funder, you're getting called up, man. You're gonna be the new leader of that army. What the fuck just happened? I'm actually so confused. Can I hold up? Can we Isabella the Exile? She disappeared? In 10, not, what do you mean she disappeared? Did she die? Is the ball of the exile was lost? What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> what is this? What do you mean she disappeared? <laughs> Where did she go? What the hell? I, I don't even know at this point. What the shit? Okay. I'm so confused. Uh, Alright. Give me a few more recruits. And then let's get rid of some of the weaker guys. Yeah. Samar. Roland. And Radagos. You guys can head out. These guys will give me what I need. You guys start recruiting again. I'm going to head over to Flintog and take this. That is so bizarre. I think she died, man. I think she like must have died somehow. Ooh, Hello. Hello, little army right here. Okay. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's take this out right now before they start sieging castles with us. Then that'll be two major armies down. Oh, he's coming to try to besiege Aster Castle. We'll take him out midway. What the fuck is that? What? Attack him. Uh, we'll give this to... Yeah, we'll give this to Vildor. He only owns one castle right now. I think that's because they probably took back Baron, right? That's what happened. Somewhere here. Did they take Varen? Yeah, I think they took Varen. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. Assault the siege camp. 471 against 353. We should be good here. Okay, here we go. We're getting close. Oh, uh, yep. They're right over this ledge here. All right. We'll have our infantry like right here. Our right here. So, yeah. Lesson learned from that last battle. We will never be delegating command again because holy shit did they fuck it up. At least I think that's what caused it. I'm not 100% sure. Shield wall guys. Because they do have some art. Are they in the circle pattern? I have never actually seen the AI do that before. <laughs> that is interesting. Alright, we have way more archers than they do. Come on, boys. Ooh, my god. Alishka. Getting some throwing kills with the uh, javelins. Not bad. That's my girl. Oh, they're actually protecting their uh, their archers inside. But I think what they're really doing is just, like, preventing them from having clear shots. Yeah, I don't think this is going too well for them. 
Meanwhile, our infantry is just standing here with their shields out. Okay, here they come. Oh shit, this might hurt. Uh, this charge might hurt our boys a little bit. Get out of here. Nice. Yup. Give me some more, give me some more. We're good. Don't worry, boys. Yeah, I really want to know what the fuck happened to Isabella. Someone please watch back the footage. Like, did she die in that battle? I don't know if I even looked at it in the kill feed if I scrolled down enough to see if that was the case. Okay, infantry charge in. I cannot... Okay. Let's get off. Can I help him out from here? Ooh, my goodness. Alright, they don't really need my help, huh? Good work. Ah, out of the way, horsies. Actually, I'll take you. Bows move up. Roll through these hillbillies. Oh, wait. Is it no longer winter? Why isn't there snow on the ground? Or did we just go far enough south? <laughs> yes, carnage. Ooh, oh, okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't get that close, spent off. Ooh, ouch. Okay, hold on. Hop off. Let's go into melee. Fuck you, Archer. Saw that throwing axe. You're not slick. Oh, these are our boys. My bad. Nice. Nice. Couple of double kills right there. They still got a lot left. Fucking where? Alright, Bowman just engage. I was about to pick that up, and then I realized we do not have any one-handed weapons. <laughs> we would have been useless. There we go. This kind of reminds me of, um... It was one of the first big battles we ever had in this series, when we were still just a... I think a mercenary or a vassal? And it was just waves and waves of Batanians coming one by one, and Svenolf just cleaving them all. I mean, he got like, I don't know, it was like 50 kills or something like that, which back then, that was a ton for us. At this point, you know, that's just par for the course. That's honestly a, you know, kind of a, a weak day in the office for him. He was being a little unproductive if he only gets 50 kills. Oh, juicy headshot. Come on, give me one more. Oh, someone else shot him. Beautiful. All right, that was a better battle, I think. How many did we lose? 34? That's not bad. That's not bad to take out 300. Yeah, we'll take that. So that's the second army of theirs down. There might... There's probably another one around Varen Castle, because this, this army came from the north, so I don't think this is the one that took on Varen Castle. Um, that's not bad. All right, Fen Gyal, you're free to go. Fen Pinraic, you're free to go. Melodier, free to go. Oh, look at him smile every time. Eee. Okay, no, that guy was still frowning. So refined is your cruelty that you would rather see me free and humiliated than in chains? Alright, fucking dick, I was letting you go. Alright, Bovan, uh, oh, he's, is he one of ours? No, he's one of the Kingdom of the Nords. Ow, oh, Aphanus, there we go. Oh, nice, alright, that gave, gave us a bunch of relationship back with him that we had lost uh, last episode. Cool. Uh, picked warriors. Yup, yup, yup. Level all of that up. Give me the vanguard. Fuck the prisoners. And I think we're good to go. Oh, wait. Oh, does that actually count as XP? Oh, it does. Interesting. Just the armor does. It's actually worth a lot of money. I think we're going to keep that. Uh, we will take this. Although, what we should do is just slaughter the cows, I think. Because they're probably slowing us down quite a bit. I would think. Eh, maybe not. Hmm. Eh, I think I'm still going to slaughter the animals just to get the meat. Thank you. The sheep. And 13 cows. Yeah, I think that did speed us up a little bit. Although, fuck, we're over capacity now? God damn, how much meat was that? 189. God damn. Uh, we need to sell this off somewhere. Um, I don't know where, but... Tell you what, let's go ahead and 
run into Aster Castle. That should drop off some more troops in the garrison. <laughs> it's just only 23. Oh, boy. Um, That's fine, I think. Yeah, that's fine. We'll run over. We'll take Flintolg. And then hopefully they don't have time to resiege it. Because we did just take out the army that was going for it. We still got a few more, bo few more guys coming our way. Yeah, we should be all right. We should be all right. Holy, I just noticed uh, Svenoff leveled up three different skills. Okay, here's the good one. Uh, mounted troops in your formation gain plus five armor. Love that. Uh, 150 charm. Hmm. Reduce item part. Uh, hiring mercenaries is 20% cheaper. I don't know. That might be useful. And then steward. Uh... <laughs> Are we actually going to do this? Do not pay wages for wounded troops. <laughs> that seems like such a dick move, but all right, we're going to do it. And holy shit, a lot of people are leveling up. What's going on here? Oh, <gasps> Fodor! Fodor's of age! Oh my god, finally! Uh, what, are we, what are we specking you into? You're going to be scout, right? Okay. Cap that out. Max this out. Beautiful, and then we'll give you, uh, yeah, some athletics, maybe, some vigor. Okay, Fodor, my man. Love to see it. Uh, elite skill leveled up as well. Why are you gaining a riding skill? I didn't think you had a mount. Interesting. Is she mounted? I guess she is on horseback, isn't she? We should probably change that. I think she's better on foot. Uh, plus one ammunition for throwing weapons. Yes. Beautiful. And, oh, nice. 75 engineering. What do we have here? <gasps> yes. Oh, that's so good. Rams and siege towers have 33% more HP. That would be super nice. So they don't get shot down. Otherwise, what's the, what's the alternative here? Range troops with 25% more ammunition while besieging. That's pretty good, too. That is pretty good as well. Ah, well, I'm actually... I'm not sure. This is pretty close. I think we're going to go for this one, though. I don't know. How often do our archers really run out of arrows in, a, in an offensive siege? I feel like that doesn't happen all that often. All right, let me go through the rest of these. Apollonia just got a really nice perk here. Tier 3 plus troops in your formation gain 5% extra damage with bows. All of our Fion champions just got a 5% extra damage boost. That is super nice. All right, here we go. What the fuck is... Hold up, what? No, our Zagos. I Now is not the time for another one of these. What is this? Spies and marketplaces. Oh, I see, uh, a large supply of weapons and armor in Sargot plans to travel to Sionin. Try to intercept it on its first leg of its journey before it gets to Sionin. Sargot to Sionin. They're going to be traveling from here to Sionin? Well, I mean, I guess we could possibly try to do that in the middle of this war. This is inconvenient timing. I will I will tell you that much. This is very inconvenient timing. Alright, let's swap over. Elishka, back to Engineer. Let's take this. And then, hopefully we'll be able to get back in time before they take Aster Castle. If not, so be it. No big deal. Let's, uh, yeah, pump up the cohesion just a little bit. And then, ooh, this looks like a level one wall settlement. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, do we even need a, uh, yeah, we need a seed. We'll, we can probably get away with just a siege ram, and then, uh, we'll just put up the ladders. I think that should work. And we're waiting for, yep, there's the last guy. Okay, so we're back to 700. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, anyone to level up? Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Fion champion to recruit. Love to see that. Very good, very good. And then it should be morning by the time this finishes. Nice, yeah, we'll take that. Beautiful, okay. Uh, Alishka, back on... Surgeon. Alright. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, go ahead and lead assault. Let's do this. Bro, these militia archers are actually kind of hitting me hard right now. I'm doing like 30 damage with headshots. I didn't think the militia archers actually had that in them. Alright, boys, come on up. Ow. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Before the... Oh, no, the infantry are here. Alright, climb back down. Wait. Let's see what we can do. We're probably going to get knocked out here, but so be it. We're getting targeted by everybody. No backup. Let me throw. Let me... Oh, oh, that's a Falksman. That's a Falksman. No, 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 no. Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. Get out of here. What, how did that just level up Alishka? Oh, because I knocked him unconscious. Or we can look at it as, as uh, we're supplying more cadavers for her to experiment her medicine on. You know, eh, one of the two. Alishka might be going the uh, the mad genius route. Ooh, hello. All right, we got, oh my sweet goodness, we have a lot of them coming up. All right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Sit right here, spin off, and just cleave away. Oh my god. Ouch, 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 ouch. I forget sometimes you guys actually hurt. Oh, where did you... Where the fuck are you guys coming from? Holy shit. Up there? Uh, it sounds like the siege ram's about to make its way through. Hey, the boys are in. Good work. Nice. Are so good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, with how weak these settlements are, yeah, we could lose all of our allies and just spend off with his elite army of. I mean, we can carry 330 troops. Spend off with 330 elite troops. We could. I mean, we could take castles like this out nonstop, and we'd be so much faster on the battle map. That's actually an idea to consider. Hmm. Oh, not bad. Only 11 losses there. 62 kills for Svenolf. Hell yeah. And unfortunately, we are too wounded to go in, so we have to send in our troops. Nobody die. All right. Good. That's about it. <laughs> that was the best we could expect. Um. But yeah. So, obviously, we need a big army like this. Probably, if we're going to be taking on large towns with like 600, 700 troops. But even then, I mean, if there's 600, 700 militia, 330, you know, Drusenic champions and Fion champions and all that, I like our odds. I really do. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about this. I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure. All right, we'll leave the rest of this to level up our troops. Beautiful. Uh, oh, I don't want to piss off everybody else. Alright, we can just pillage. That works. I don't care that much. Um, alright. Uh, what do we got here? Do we wanna put a few of the boys in the garrison here? Will be nice. The militia archers we just got. Highwaymen. Yeah, that's... That should be fine. Maybe the brigand. Sure, we'll leave them. Cool. Uh, what if I hop back in a few times? Donate a few troops to them. Yeah, what's that at now? 31? <laughs> it's not much. It's not much, but I, I don't know. Some of you guys keep on asking, like, oh, VMP, why don't you put in your troops? Dude, we do you know how expensive our troops are and how long they take to train up? I'm not throwing away our tier 5, tier 6 troops in here just for them to still get taken out in a siege. All right, this is, trust me, it's way better this way. It's way better this way. Um, All right, that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, they're taking Aster Castle back, but I'm not too concerned about that for right now. This has been a good start to the war. Um... Let me see how much footage I have. Uh, but we might just end it here. Alright, looks like we're way over the hour mark. So we're going to go ahead and end this one off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I'm off for break right now. So the videos will be coming out with more frequency. Uh, in between episodes, uh, I think I'll, I'll like clean up and make sure we actually hold on to these castles. Um, just so that this war doesn't end up taking like five episodes. Uh, and half of it is just us retaking castles back and forth. But, uh, yeah, I think next episode, maybe we go for, 
oh, well, we have to worry about that caravan that's coming down here. But maybe we go for Sionin. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Take another town, and then we can kind of tell our army to disband so they can go out and start recruiting up troops again. And just spend off personally, we'll run around with a small, really elite army and capture a bunch of these castles. Yeah, like Gersagos, Remtol. Maybe go in a little bit further, take on Lannick. Yeah, I think that could work out. So anyways, let me know what you think about the series so far. Uh, let me know what you think about us potentially doing a little Witcher 3 live stream series when the uh, graphic overhaul, the HD update comes out. I think that could, uh, could be a lot of fun. I miss live streaming with you guys when you guys actually see my face. But until next time, as always, take it easy, lads.